Today I'm in Murray, Brisbane, at Sigma MSC, an engineering firm who specialises in vibration analysis. Usually Sigma MSC are sent out to commercial sites to measure industrial vibration, but today we're here to measure the vibrations produced by a number of different whole body vibration machines. Vibration training is becoming a fast growing trend in the fitness and health industries. Being such a new concept, there is a lot of confusion surrounding this technology. Vibration machines can cost as little as $200 all the way up to $20,000. So why the big price difference? And do all machines perform in the same way? Today we'll attempt to answer some of those questions as we watch Sigma MSC test a number of different whole body vibration machines. We're here with Sigma MSC mechanical engineer Brian, who will be running the test for us today. Brian, can you tell us what you'll be doing here today and what equipment you'll be using to run these tests? Yeah, sure. We'll be using the CSI portable data collector, and that has a handheld accelerometer, so we can measure the acceleration of the device, i.e. how much it actually shakes, and also the frequency, so how fast it actually shakes. House station, house station platinum, OTO WBV3000, Genki, amazing super health fibro trainer, T-Zone VT12, Workout World Avanti Vibration Plate, Vibroform, Pulse Trainer VM2, GoFit Platinum, Body Soul Mini, Vitality for Life Vitality 600, Quick Tone, Power Plate My5, Power Plate Pro5, Crazy Fit, Hyper Vibe Performance. Okay, let's get out of the way and let you get started. So the test results are in. Let's see how these machines measure up. Health station, maximum frequency 14.51 Hz, maximum acceleration 4.384 Gs. Health station platinum, pivotal mode, maximum frequency 16.87 Hz, maximum acceleration 4.941 Gs. Lineal mode, maximum frequency 42.89 Hz, maximum acceleration 7.392 Gs. OTO WBV 3000. Maximum frequency 11.22 Hz, maximum acceleration 3.518 Gs. Genki, maximum frequency 14.25 Hz, maximum acceleration 3.279 Gs. Amazing Super Health Vibro Trainer, maximum frequency 13.77 Hz, maximum acceleration 4.130 Gs. T-Zone VT12, maximum frequency 14.51 Hz, maximum acceleration 4.384 Gs. Workout World Avanti Vibration Plate, maximum frequency 14.51 Hz, maximum acceleration 3.097 Gs. Vibroform, maximum frequency 15.13 Hz, maximum acceleration 4.756 Gs. Pulse Trainer VM2, Pivotal mode maximum frequency 29.84 Hz, maximum acceleration 4.536 Gs. Lineal mode maximum frequency 44.72 Hz, maximum acceleration 2.388 Gs. GoFit Platinum, maximum frequency 9.86 Hz, maximum acceleration 1.844 Gs. Body Soul Mini, maximum frequency 12.92 Hz, maximum acceleration 5.893 Gs. Vitality for Life, Vitality 600, maximum frequency 14.56 Hz, maximum acceleration 5.563 Gs. Quick Tone, maximum frequency 12.33 Hz, maximum acceleration 3.752 Gs. Power Plate My5, maximum frequency 34.1 Hz, maximum acceleration 4.598 Gs. Power Plate Pro 5, maximum frequency 50.5 3.8 Hz, maximum acceleration 11 Gs. Crazy Fit maximum frequency 11.44 Hz, maximum acceleration 2.808 Gs. Hypervibe Performance, maximum frequency 28.64 Hz, maximum acceleration 23.97 Gs. Of the pivotal machines tested, all of them produced a maximum frequency of 15 Hz or less, and a maximum acceleration of less than 6 Gs. There is one exception to this. The Hypervibe Performance produced a maximum frequency of 28 Hz and a maximum acceleration of 24 Gs. As you can see, the results show that there are differences between each unit. Some units perform way better than other units. 
our conclusion, try before you buy. And if possible, ask to see independent reports to validate the manufacturer's specifications. For more information, visit vibrationtraining.net.